Hello, my name is Mima, and I'm a grandma and a mom. And I'm going to read a story called Dance at Grandpa's. And this will be the longest, I think this will be the longest book I've read so far. So I hope you like it. I'll show you the pictures first, and then I'll read the words, OK? Once upon a time, a little girl named Laura lived in the big woods of Wisconsin in a little house made of logs. She lived there with her pa, her ma, her big sister Mary, her big sister Carrie, and their good old bulldog Jack. One winter morning, everyone got up early, for there was going to be a big party at Grandpa's house. While Laura and Mary ate their breakfast, Pa packed his fiddle carefully in its box and put, in, put it in the big sled waiting by the gate. So here's Pa packing up his fiddle, and the girls are eating breakfast. And here they are in the wagon. The sleigh, I should call it. The air was frosty cold, but Laura, Mary, Carrie, and Ma were tucked in snug and warm under their robes in the sled. The horses pranced, the sleigh bells rang merrily, and they went off through the big woods to Grandpa's house. Here are the horses pulling the sleigh. It can be a sleigh or a sled. In the book that the author wrote, The Sled. It did not seem long before they were sweeping into the clearing at Grandpa's house. Grandma stood at the door smiling and calling for them to come in. After that cold ride in the cold air, I bet it was nice to go into Grandma's house. Laura loved Grandma's big house. It was fun to run from the fireplace at one end of the big room all the way to Grandma's soft feather bed on the other side. The whole house smelled good. There were sweet and spicy smells coming from the kitchen and the smell of hickory logs burning with bright, clear flames in the fireplace. Before long, it was time to get ready for the party. Laura watched while Ma and the ants made themselves pretty. They combed their long hair and put on their best dresses. Laura thought Ma was the most beautiful of all in her green ruffled dress. Everyone's getting ready for the party. Soon people began to come to the party. They came on foot through the woods with their lanterns and they came in sleds and wagons. Sleigh bells were jingling all the time. Here's what it looks like outside of Grandpa's house with people coming in. The big room was filled with tall boots and swishing skirts, and there were ever so many babies lying in rows on Grandma's feather bed. Laura thought baby Carrie was the prettiest. That was her little sister. That's a lot of babies, huh? Then Pa took out his fiddle and began to play. All the skirts began to swirl and all the boots began to stomp. Swing your partners, Pa called. And everybody was dancing. Laura watched Ma's skirt swaying and her dark head bowing and thought she was the loveliest dancer in the world.
Soon it was time for dinner. The long table was loaded with pumpkin pies, dried berry pies, and cookies. There was cold boiled pork and salt rising bread. How sour the pickles were. They all ate until they could eat no more. Get all the food. Do you like pickles? We have a funny thing at our family. In our family, Grandpa always says that pickles will eat your brain <laughs> because he doesn't like pickles. But the rest of us like pickles. And pickles will not eat your brain. The fiddling and dancing went on and on until it was time for Lara and the other children to go to bed. They're looking kind of sleepy, those children. When Laura woke up, it was morning. There were pancakes, pancakes and maple syrup for breakfast. And then Pa brought the horses and sled to the door. Mm mm mm, pancakes for breakfast. Grandma's can be pretty awesome. Pa tucked Laura and Mary and Carrie and Ma into the sled. Grandma and Grandpa stood calling, bye, goodbye, as they rode away into the big woods going home. What a wonderful party it had been. Isn't that a great little book about a dance at Grandpa's house? Big party at Grandpa's? I'm going to see who wrote this book. It's by Laura Ingalls Wilder. It's called Dance at Grandpa's. I hope you liked it. And please remember that I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.